Inventor 2025 continues to build on the momentum of the 2024 updates by introducing several significant enhancements to part modeling capabilities, particularly in the finish feature functionality. Finish feature simplifies the integration of manufacturing process information into models. Adjustments to features can now be made directly in express mode for a faster, more efficient workflow. The update also improves iAssembly member synchronization, boosting assembly management consistency. Additional improvements include the introduction of selection filters and toggles for managing finished parameters. The addition of the eyedropper tool now streamlines the application of finish attributes, enabling a quick pick up and apply workflow. We also have new include and exclude buttons, along with body and face filters to aid in user selection. Support for including these selections in derived operations, such as make part and make component, has been added, along with the ability to disable parameter controls to prevent unwanted parameter generation. You can also now quickly access the XML library folder for administrative adjustments and modifications. We've enhanced our whole creation capabilities in Inventor by incorporating the ISO 15786 standard which includes a new drill point operation, such as flat W, angle V, and angle Y. This allows users to design holes that are in strict compliance with this international standard, highlighting our dedication to aligning with the latest industry standards and serving the dynamic needs of the design community. Additionally, we provide users with the flexibility to modify and create custom holes tailored to specific machinery or tooling requirements, ensuring adaptability to a wide range of design scenarios. Furthermore, 2D hole nodes have been updated to reflect these new hole types. The pattern creation process in Inventor has been modernized with the introduction of boundary patterns featuring a refreshed user interface. This update enables users to generate patterns confined within specific boundaries, allowing for the definition of a region or an area to delineate where the pattern should apply. Any instances of the pattern extending beyond these boundaries are automatically suppressed, ensuring the inclusion of only pertinent instances. This boundary-driven patterning capability has also been extended into the sketch environment, 